Aquarius. Love messages for you. Uh, what's coming up for the sign of Aquarius in the month? Okay, the Four of Pentacles has come up in love. So it came up in the general and it's come up in your love. So I definitely feel there's a connection here. Um, okay, the Four of Pentacles can indicate quite a quiet time uh, in love, but I think it might be due to stubbornness. And I sort of want to say that because the Four of Pentacles both don't look like they're about to move. Okay, they're sitting on the fence here. They look quite comfortable. It's a message of complacency with the Nine of Pentacles and also the Emperor. Okay, the Emperor energy is stubborn and it's sort of sitting with the Ten of Wands and the Ten of Wands are quite heavy, you can see, and he's slow to move, whereas the Knight can be swift on his feet. But it varies much um, and I feel like uh, there's an energy of someone being stubborn, okay? And due to stubbornness, whether it's your own or someone else you're dealing with, there won't be much action or movement when it comes to love. I think Venus energy is around you and there's a lot of potential, but I worry that stubbornness could get in the way and prevent, and, and possibly fear even. The Nine of Swords is fearing a situation or fearing the worst in a situation. And, um, or, or presuming things. And that could sort of, sort of put things at a bit of a standstill here for you. Now, again, the way you're going to act and the way you're really going to feel about the situation are going to be two very different things, Aqua. As I said, the way that you'll present yourself might be cool, calm, and connected, collected and completely unaffected. But internally, I feel like there is internal strife. Uh, you have the Knight of Swords in the general, the Nine of Swords in the love. And if this is you identifying as the Swords, which you do, um, which you do identify as uh, Aqua, I do feel like there's something happening here um, with your thoughts. I definitely feel your thoughts will be racing and you sort of will be sort of thinking about new ways to curb an issue or to remedy an issue. Um, you know, the emperor can be that stubborn energy. It can be confrontational energy. Uh, in Roman myth, Ares was the god of opposition, the god of war and the god of conflict. So you might have a bit of conflict on your hands here. Um, if this is not the case, it could be a new chapter in love. The Emperor, as an Aries, the, the first sign of the Zodiac, can definitely indicate new beginnings. And you do have those planting of seeds with the um, with the Empress. But those seeds need to be nurtured. You know, that, that garden around her that dwells, it needs to be nurtured. And then you'll see those rewards with the Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles often reminds us to take things day by day. So I feel like before you make any moves... Try to take things day by day and, and take things as they come. Um, I do want to say with the Knight of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles is someone that pursues their um, their emotions. So I feel like there is someone that could be pursuing you or emotionally. You're sort of going after what you want, Aqua. Um, and it's not going to be easy. I don't think these emotions are easy to deal with because, you know, there can be a bit of a complex problem here, which the Cancer Moon can represent so if if there is this sort of connection here i think it might have something to do with um this stream of emotion you know he sort of rides the wave here um which is quite fantastical that sort of goes over the water i don't know what these tentacle like energies are i mean I, it could be like there's a threat here and he has to feel like he has to go over it. He has to avoid it, maybe. I don't know if this is even emotional avoidance. There might be something you're sort of avoiding here. Keeping to yourself with that hoarded energy of the Four of Pentacles. Um, I don't even know if you're unwilling to share things with your partner. Or you're unwilling to share things about your relationship with friends. And maybe, as I said, you're normally quite connected and happy to share these things. But maybe this time around it's a little bit different. Maybe this time around, the way you're feeling about it is is very different uh, to what's happening, to actually, yeah, to, to, to what's really going on. <clears throat> so something that must be considered, uh, I feel, when it comes to love for you. Um, 
but fearing a situation, you're in fear of something. Maybe you're in fear of someone finding something out. Uh, maybe you just want to keep things pretty. Maybe you're, there could even be a little bit of denial because maybe this Nine of Swords is fearful, but maybe he needs to be more fearful than what he really is. I mean, that's quite interesting. I think you're trying to keep a positive outlook on things. I mean, that's a good attitude to employ, um, Aqua. So uh, I guess we'll wait and see how things unfold. Let's have a look at career, though, or money, finances. Anything we can learn for you. Okay, you might have a Virgo coming in in your career. A Virgo Taurus could be coming up around you. You've got the Hierophant. Um, a time for analytics, okay, with the Virgo energy. Definitely trying to beautify or perfect something in your career. Now, the Hermit is a loan figure, so it can be entrepreneurial activity or having more independence in your current role. Uh, it can also be you needing the time, needing to take time away from your career or your creative pursuits. So for some of you, some sort of break um, is needed, okay? Some sort of hiatus or break is needed when it may come to career. Now, the Ten of Wands came up in your career, so I feel like there might be a lot of pressure on you in work or responsibilities could increase or certain factors around the company are going to affect your workload. I mean, the Hierophant is good because the Hierophant represents quite a bit of money, uh, prestigiousness, respect, admiration, idolatry. And I feel like um, it can be a Taurus, it can be a prestigious client, but it can be someone bringing in quite a prestigious energy around you. Um, it could be the location, it could be a venue, it may be a person, a client, um, it could even be a, a, a monetary offer uh, that's coming into you. Uh, that's coming up for you. Uh, but the Two of Swords can indicate conflict or choice. But I think it's you. There's a bit of scattered energy with the Seven of Wands around you in career. So I feel like it's almost like you're, um, you're spread thin. Okay, so there may be a lot of late nights. There may be a lot of tireless work hours. There may be a little bit of not knowing where to start. A bit of writer's blocks, you know, starts and finishes here with the Two of Swords can be trying to juggle multiple tasks or multiple income streams or creative pursuits. And maybe that's where you'll feel a little bit exhausted here. There's an element of exhaustion. Um, but I love the Hierophant because I feel like there is someone here who's going to inspire you. It could be a guru. It could be a manager. It could be a friend. Uh, like I said, it could be a client. But it's someone who is going to inspire you in a lot of ways. Um and is going to sort of help you blossom and beautify that perfectionism. There might be someone who comes back and asks you to rewrite something or perfect it or to change something up. And you'll sort of be working tirelessly. And it's almost like you'll feel like it's never ending. And there may be a point where you just put your swords up and say, no, I'm not doing this anymore. I've had enough. You might put your hands up in the air or you might say, you know, I've, I've, I've done, I've, fix this as much as I can. There's nothing more I can do. So there might be someone putting an end to something here. Um, okay, so look out for that because that those that five of cups losses, I mean, can be seen in your career, but there might be losses. Okay, loss in respect, loss with money and also gains. So with losses come gains. I think those de this definitely works hand in hand for you, Aquarius, but pay attention to sort of all these different things you'll be doing, these different tasks because I think they're coming up and, and, you know, I just don't want you to be overwhelmed with that sort of energy here because that 10 of ones has come up twice. So it's obviously some sort of pressure um, and it's him carrying all the ones through the forest, that heaviness, and he's not really looking where he's going. He can't look up. So I don't know if you need to look up to management or you need to look up and um, see things from a different vantage point. Maybe this is an, a top-down view of everything. I don't know if you need to take a different approach, but maybe that's the message here, something to do with perspective, um, perspective and subjectivism, okay? I will leave your reading at that, Aqua. So thank you again so much for tuning in.